welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a student result portal so you can search here with the student id or the student name let me enter the student roll number and click on this search so when i click on this search you can able to see here one student is found successfully okay so this student name is student one in the database we have added the 1001 student name is the student one i just simply click on this view result so you can able to see here the data is being to be loaded and now what the important thing in this application or in this result web application you can easily able to see here the overall performance of that particular student and the examination result okay so you can able to see here the final exam midterm exam september test so all the exam results will be combinedly show to your user in one search okay if you if it want to check out the final exam result he can simply press on this and if he want a complete result report he can simply click on this view so when he click on this view you can able to see here all the subject and the marks and obtain a total percentage and grade and the status okay so how you can add more uh, examination results and more uh, subjects in your data what you need to do in the code let me show you everything right now you can able to see here this is a final exam we will take it the september test so right now you can able to see here the september test have only the three subjects here okay we will go to our google sheet and go to the september test and that's all now i just copy this particular data and just paste it here so when i paste it here i just give him a name mathematics one and give him a name the english one and the this one it will be the science one so right now you can able to see here this is a total marks so how you can set the total marks just come to here you can able to see here the max here so right now this mathematics total marks is 100 and this english total marks is 78 let's take example and this science have the 67 the total marks now that's all okay now what you need to do simply click on this view again in the september test so right now you can able to see here now the total marks is changed and the subjects automatically added here okay again if you want to make a print of this particular report you can simply take a print as well in the a4 size paper and the secondly thing for example i am right now searching here the student 10 and when i enter here the student 10 and click on this search so right now you can able to see here the student 10 is founded successfully i can simply click on this view results so that particular student data will be loaded here successfully you can able to see here the student 10 and the overall performance and the total or obtained marks and the secondly what happened if you will remove the student 10 data from your database okay i just simply click on this uh, remove and right now in which uh, app have we have removed with midterm exam okay so i just simply click on this view results again so this line indicate that the result will be loaded from the database right now so right now you can able to see here the midterm will not be displayed here okay if you want to make a overall print report you can simply click on this print report and right now you can able to see here the print as well so now how you can add a more student simply come it here add here uh, the roll number or the id and you can simply add here the student 11 and okay the student 11 right now just copy this particular these two data and go to any september test or any particular sheet if you want to add a more sheet for example this is a second quarter and if you want to add, uh, add a one more sheet or uh, this sheet name is a copy of second quarter so whenever you search here so that copy of second quarter will also be automatically comes here 
so i just simply click here search this search is being performed here and right now you can able to see here the copy of second quarter is being successfully shown here and when i click on this view so right now i can easily able to see here that particular subject performance or that particular exam performance as well hope you can understand this concept now the thing is that how you can add a one more student we have recently made a copy of second quarter i just simply paste it here and again i just copy this particular data and paste it here now that's all now the student 11 is being successfully added i just copy this particular id and refresh my web application so when i refresh my web application it will be the like that i just enter the search student roll number and click on this search so when i click on this search student 11 is found it successfully and click on this view result so right now it being loading and it being getting data from the database so you can able to see here we have the data in the in this particular sheet september test and the copy of the second quarter okay in the september test what we have we don't have any particular data and in the final exams we have the id but not the data here okay so that's why here is uh, showing i hope you can easily understand that so now the question is that how we can set up it on our site so whenever you get the link you can simply open this link in the your chrome tab and click on this make a copy so when you click on this make a copy a copy of that particular document of that particular google sheet is being successfully copied in your google drive with the name of copy of multiple term wise and you can change uh, the uh, name on the time of the copy as well now simply click on this extension click on this app script so when you click on this app script your code is already being added here now the one thing is that you can easily check it out the term wise result okay and if you want to make this web app window title change to your school name you can easily change it here for example mri script i just added here mri script and right now you can able to see here this is a name and how you can change it and replace with your school name simply come it here and uh, search it here and now you can simply replace your school name here for example mri scripts okay that's okay uh now i simply click on this save and click on this deploy so when i click on this deploy click on this new deployment and when i click on this new deployment i need to select here anyone sometimes the uh the pop-up like showing like that don't need to worry about them simply click on this setting icon click on this web app and, and select here the anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy it will ask you for the authorized access simply click on this authorized access and continue here with your id and again it will join you the pop-up like that simply click on this advanced and click on this particular go to term this is the name that your google app script project has and click on this allow so when you click on this allow now you can able to see here the deployment is being updating and this particular url you will get and this url you can send it to your uh, students to check their results or you can make it publicly okay so right now you can able to see here uh, we don't have changed it here that particular name we simply go to i uh, simply go to index.html and uh, search it here again and when i click on this search uh, right now you can able to see here we have again the name it here and we just simply change it here and this is i also do for your easiness that's okay okay what you need to do you don't need to make a new deployment right now simply click on this deploy and click on this manage deployment so when you click on this manage deployment simply click on this edit icon and select here the new version so what the what happened by doing this now this particular url will not be changed if you don't do this and make a new version so this url will not be able to useful anymore and a new web app url will be generated for you so if you want to keep the old url so you can simply commit here manage deployments and select edit and make a new version and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy so right now you can able to see here let me check it again is any other found not and i simply commit here and refresh it here 
Okay, so when I refresh, you can able to see here the school name is being successfully changed, and when I enter a particular data or.